This year, we can say that the Nobel Prizes in both chemistry and physics were actually awarded to artificial intelligence. Especially in physics, the award had nothing to do with physicists. It was given to an AI expert who used certain computational methods of physics. On the chemistry side, the award went to an AI project that accurately predicted how proteins, which are the essence of life, fold. More precisely, those who developed the project and discovered the computational technique for it. I'm not a scientist, I'm an investor. I look at this issue from an investment perspective, and I've had an investment in protein folding for a long time. It's not been going very well, that's why the Nobel Prize caught my attention even more. This person will explain to you why solving protein folding is so important. What role did artificial intelligence play here? I will first explain these. Then I will talk a bit about the investment opportunities it opened up, because I believe that once we solve everything about how proteins fold, life will never be the same as it is today. If you're ready, let's begin. How do proteins fold? Investment opportunities, Nobel Prize. Before we get into all that, what is a protein? Let's start there. Proteins are the building blocks of life, managing almost everything that happens in our bodies. They repair tissues, send signals, fight infections, they make our hair grow, and they make our hair fall out. They cause Alzheimer's. Everything is related to proteins. When proteins fold correctly, they do wonderful things. When they don't fold correctly, they cause problems. They can lead to diseases. What does that mean? You can think of a protein as layers of paper folded on top of each other. And if there are errors in this folding, they can cause problems as they fail to perform their functions. These misfolded proteins are dangerous within our bodies. If we can't eliminate them, they can even pave the way for extremely serious diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. That's why understanding the folding process is of vital importance. But scientists have never fully understood this process. We know there are over 200 million proteins. Despite years of research, we had only figured out how 170,000 proteins fold. This is where artificial intelligence comes into play, and that's why this year's Nobel Prize was awarded to David Baker, Demis Hassabis, and John Jumper. Starting with David Baker, he is a person focused on designing new proteins. He is working on developing new computational tools for this. Proteins that don't exist in nature, proteins that fight diseases, proteins that can rejuvenate us, proteins that can change the taste of a product, he is dealing with all of these. Therefore, David Baker's work seems extremely important for fighting diseases, combating aging, and perhaps even solving environmental issues. The other two Nobel Prize winners, Damies Hassis and John Jumper, developed the artificial intelligence necessary for this work. This is actually the initiative called AlphaFold 2 by Google DeepMind. Google had acquired DeepMind years ago, and it was there that they developed AlphaFold 2 and won the Nobel Prize for it. Recently, AlphaFold 3 was also announced. We might make a video about that in the future. Thanks to artificial intelligence, they have now become able to predict how proteins fold correctly and incorrectly, a fundamental problem that scientists have been working on for over 50 years. They can also suggest what needs to be done for correct folding. What does folding mean? What are we folding? Basically, proteins are made up of long chains of amino acids. These chains form the building blocks of proteins. How these chains fold into a three-dimensional structure determines the function of the protein and each of these amino acids has a different role. Their interactions vary, and the way they fold defines the function of that protein. AlphaFold helps us understand this folding process. This way, it seems like it can help us find misfolded proteins and discover correctly folded new proteins. This is an initiative that could revolutionize medicine. I am also an investor in a company called Quantum. Unfortunately, it's not a successful investment. They are trying to develop a device that claims to solve protein folding very quickly and economically and sequence new proteins. So far, they haven't been very successful. The device is called Platinum, and they've been working on this for quite some time. There's AI, a device, and data involved, and they claim that if they succeed, discovering new proteins will become very economical and fast. They also have some interesting projects. For example, in one project, they gave non-alcoholic beer the taste of alcoholic beer. They are conducting such experiments. Their goal is to design brand new proteins and change the world. So how does protein sequencing work? You know that DNA sequencing shows the order of base pairs in our genes. Protein sequencing, on the other hand, shows the order of amino acids in proteins. Knowing this sequence helps scientists understand how proteins fold and perform their functions. Quantum and Alpha Folk are also trying to do this using artificial intelligence and massive computing power. Unfortunately, our past technologies, past computers, and the human brain are not sufficient for this. If these technologies work, precision medicines will emerge. That means drugs specifically targeted for the task.
Once we solve this, for example, in cancer treatment, we will be able to design specific proteins tailored just for you. This way, the damage caused by typical chemotherapy will be avoided and recoveries will be faster, and some of these treatments might even be personalized. But protein engineering, designing new proteins, doesn't just play a role in healthcare. For example, we can break down plastic waste or develop proteins that capture carbon. This way we can make significant progress in combating climate change. Or perhaps we can develop new types of fuels. We can create new plants. With these plants, we can solve the world's hunger problem. In conclusion, proteins are like the machines of life. Thanks to the people who won the Nobel Prize in 2024, we can now design them. I believe AI-supported technologies will significantly change our lives in the coming days. Here, we are faced with a very concrete example. On the other hand, other companies are also working on protein engineering. For example, there is Region of Pharmaceuticals. They are developing protein-based therapies, a biotechnology company trying to beat cancer. There's also Amgen. It is a well-established technology firm developing biological drugs for cancer and cardiovascular diseases and engaging in protein engineering. There's Biogen. They are focused on neurological disorders, particularly developing protein-based drugs for diseases like Alzheimer's and multiple sclerosis. Then there's Moderna. Moderna's technology teaches cells to produce proteins, thereby eliciting an immune response. This was the basis for the COVID-19 vaccine. We encountered a lot of conspiracy theories, as you know. There are other companies as well, but I wanted to give you a short list like this. It's an area with very broad investment opportunities. On the other hand, these developments show that we are still at the beginning of the artificial intelligence game. There will be more demand for companies like Nvidia, Qualcomm, Broadcom, and AMD. We need much greater computing power. In mainframes, data centers, our mobile phones everywhere. Only then will all of this be possible. I also see that the artificial intelligence industry has a long way to go. Just imagine something that could fundamentally change the healthcare sector this much. How does it affect the world? One of the biggest expenditure items globally is healthcare, and it's possible for this to change fundamentally. Of course, in Turkey, we have other issues. We have a problem with not getting enough protein. We are not in a position to deal with the increase in protein. Unfortunately, according to recent statistics, an article in today's Oxygen newspaper mentions this. In Turkey, per capita red meat consumption has dropped below 10 kilograms. The average in the European Union is around 40 kilograms. Just next door, protein consumption is six to seven times higher. When we include fish, and unfortunately, we can't consume red meat. We can't get fish from our seas. I don't know why we are like this. As a result, we are becoming a nation that consumes little protein. I won't go into detail about what protein is related to here. I don't want to get into trouble. Let me conclude by saying that investing in biotechnology companies is very difficult because the products developed by these companies have the power to fundamentally change human life. Therefore, getting approval is very challenging for them, from the necessary authorities. Additionally, they become subjects of moral and philosophical debates, because if we alter the protein that forms the basis of life, we don't fully know what kind of world we are heading towards.